We are now uh, studying the word of God. It's John Christensen from Oslo, Norway. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. When you became a Christian, you became a son of God, and the Spirit of God is living inside of you. You have uh, experienced something that nobody other has received, only that them that have uh, become a Christian and accept Jesus as their Savior. When you have become a Christian and Jesus is living inside you through his spirit, you will also experience blessing, favor, hope, happiness, love and everything from above that other people not are receiving. You'll be a blessing for yourself, for your family, from the, for the whole society, for our country, for everybody where you are going. We see in Jesaja's 41 and uh, verse 18. I will open rivers in high places and fountain in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land spring of water. What is God talking about? Where the place where there are no life and water and blessings, there will be blessing. I will open the rivers in high places, a fountain in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land spring of water. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. The dry land springs of water. Every places will receive blessings. And that is when you go with Christ you will receive blessing and favor that you not can think in your own mind and other people not will understand but you will understand it and receive it I have so many experiments in my life that I have uh, been guided by the Spirit for a week ago I was driving in my job as bus driver. And the Spirit said to me, John, slow down. Two, three seconds after, a truck get front me because the driver, he was talking about mobile. And maybe it's been a crash that many people maybe have, have been dead. Maybe my, myself also. But the Spirit said to me, John, slow down, slow down, and I'll do it. It was a blessing, of course. It was not a question. It could be many people that was dead. What is going on when you're going with God? It's something experienced from God that the people in the world not understand, but they get blessing. We can also say in every land and uh, country that have believed in that book, why are we more blessed that uh, the people and country that not really believe in the in the book book? It's something with the word of God. It's something with 
when you go with God, is blessing every places. Feel the experience that God will talk to you. He will talk inside you, from the heart. And He will guide you every day. He will guide you Monday, Sunday, Wednesday, when you go up of the bed, on a day, in the evening, even on the night, he will give you dreams. Every time you will experience that God is talking to you by the Spirit, by from the Word of God. And that is also very important. Because the Pentecostal movement and the Charismatic movement, why are they so crazy today in many places? Because they are not see when God talks to you. You need to see when God talks to you. He will talk to you, to you about and according to the word of God. And when God is talking to you, it will also be a blessing. It will also be a good thing to you. God, when he is talking to you, he is talking to you that it will be a blessing thing, you can say. God, he is talking to you to be a blessing. And when God is talking to you, you be a blessing for your uh, wife. For your children, where you are going, at your work, and where you are, anywhere places, he will be a blessing to you. And you will be a blessing for the people. I think too many Christians, they are seeing inside of themselves. Oh, I am so hurt of the devil. But Jesus had taken him to the cross, and after the cross, he has lost everything. He has no power. You have power as, as a Christian. We see her in the word of God. We go, can, uh, go to 1 John. I think it's the... Was uh, 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 chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. There's are a person inside of me. Is Jesus inside of me through his spirit? Is true the spirit that is inside of me? He is greater than he is in the world. Satan. Why are you not blessed? Why are you defeat? Why are you so hurt? I don't understand. Because he that is inside of you, he is greater than he is in the world. We see also in uh, Peter, the first chapter, verse 3. According as his divine power had given unto all us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. According as his divine power had given us unto us all, us all things. We have all things through Christ. We have the richest, greatness, biggest life that is a man, a human man can uh, receive. God's only God the Father's life, God the Father life inside of me, through His Son Jesus Christ. When you will be led by the Spirit, you'll be a blessing.
Blessing for yourself, for the family, for your wife, for your children, for the whole society, for, for your church. Everything you receive blessing. That is the important thing also with to be led by the Spirit. You will receive blessing. You will receive goodness, kindness, love, peace, everything that is from above. Satan, he is in darkness, live in darkness. He will give you sickness, depression. You will he will also give you if you give if uh, you be blessed and you have not God with you, you are not really blessed. Because everything in the world is God the creator of. The true really blessings you receive, you will receive when you go with God and you will be led by the Spirit. Nobody can ever stop you. You will be a blessing. You will be an overcomer. You will go from light to light. From victory to victory. Everything in life will go through and have victory. And when you have victory, you will be a blessing. When you have victory, you are a blessing. We see in the word of God that you can be led by the Spirit. Because the Spirit is inside of you. And also, the maybe people around you, in some way, they will misunderstand you. But you will experience, you will have a son mind and understand that Jesus will become true, you are overcomer and you receive blessing from him and every situation is going hard in your way you will overcome it in some way I am not understand in some way you will overcome it but you will be an overcomer in every situation in every uh, phases in your life Paul, he said, he had uh, been uh, poor and he had been rich, but all things he received from God and that he was receiving from God became he an uh, overcomer. We read here in Philippians, the fourth cap uh, chapter and verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. That is an overcomer. That is when you are led by the Spirit. I, you as a Christian, I as a Christian can do all things through Christ which strengthened me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.